The director for the recently released Secret Invasion series on Disney Plus recently said that everybody in the series, even the villain, is moving through a sense of shades of gray. This is what director um, Ali Salim had to say to comicbookmovie.com's Rohan Patel. Patel asked him, the scale of the series is so massive. What was your initial approach when you read the material? Were you able to look at it like a six-part film? Were there any series like Born that you were able to draw inspiration from? And then uh, Ali answered, the script that Kyle Bradstreet, Bradstreet created has great themes of paranoia, suspicion, distrust. The main character who is a catalyst into the story is Nick Fury, who's a man who has questions about his purpose and his existence, and he's come back to Earth to find his footing again. I already hate it. I don't think Nick Fury should be questioning his purpose or his existence. He very much knows what his purpose and his existence is. This sounds very much like they are going to Jake Skywalker, Nick, uh, Nick Fury. Uh, and honestly, I'm just tired of characters being Jake Skywalker. Uh, nevertheless, Ali goes on and says, if you mix all of those things up, my mind immediately goes to film noir and I'm much older than you, so I don't go to Bourne. My mind goes to the third man, the classics, Coppola's The Conversation, Alan Pacola's Clute, and The Parallax View, and even all the president's men. Because I love that sense of gray, the sense that it's not binary, good, and bad. Uh, so that's a big issue, too, because the world is binary. There is good and there is bad. There are moral choices that you make and there are immoral choices that you make. This whole idea that there's this sense of gray is trying to undermine that fundamental reality. And honestly, this is something that the, the Walt Disney Company is con constantly doing with their films. Now they're trying to uh, erase that th there's actually this idea of good and bad and that things that you do can be are good and things that you do can be bad. And it also makes for absolutely awful storytelling because it rejects the fundamental nature of our world. Uh, but then he goes on and says, but really everybody in the series, even the villain, is moving through a sense of shades of gray and trying to find their purpose. So I go back to those classics and inform the themes and the tone and the feeling. So uh, there, to me, like calling the character a villain, but then saying they're going through uh, shades of gray, it, it definitely, to me, means they're trying to make you feel almost sympathetic, empathetic towards the villain, rather than be like, yo, this guy's doing some really bad stuff and we got to put a stop to him. They're actually like, oh, well, his actions might actually be justified. The evil things that he's doing might actually be okay. Indeed, maybe they're actually right. Uh, and it's just sick. It's just sick. And uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, these TV shows and movies are continually being rejected by audiences because they are, again, they're rejecting the fundamental nature of the world that we live in, that there are indeed things that you do that are good and just, and there are things that you can do that are indeed evil and wrong. 